Welcome. Oops, hold it right there. Before I start the video and two weeks without uploading anything, I just want to say many things on why. First, my first year of college had ended a few days ago, so I decided to take a little bit of a rest. The second, um, like I said in the previous videos I had, I'll definitely buy an i5 but unfortunately my CPU I'm using have a different CPU slot or should I say it as a socket, which I'll never fit it either way. So therefore I save up my i5 and gonna buy a newer motherboard for this to work. Uh, yeah, you definitely get to know the idea, right? Pain in the ass. <laughs> so the third one, since I can live stream or whatnot, I might continue to make PGR for me mobile gaming uploads on my channel. And the fourth one, finally, you better subscribe because look at the ratings we have there. I keep making videos and content so also, if you want yourself to get updated, I have a Twitter account which I often posted some of the things I might upload next in YouTube. So that is all and back onto the video. Welcome back guys once again in the second episode of Punishing Grey Raven as I Zain Kokoru from this part again um, we're pretty much on the newest update which is the fake ascension so what is the fake ascension patch we have here so technically we're pretty much getting on the interesting part which is Luna's event so from this part on um, what they call this <laughs> Luna's part is pretty much her motives on what kind of you know to destroy humanity on on her own kind and she pretty much you know spreading all bars all over the place that is so the gray ravens are pretty much um what the hell <laughs> jesus christ uh sorry about that i just thought my yeah sure I'm sorry about that but Rosetta just cut me off so what I'm trying to say is um, Luna's event is pretty much one of the interesting part to know because you know why uh, Luna on the other hand has a tragic and sad story I mean backstory okay okay because Luna is technically Lucia's sister. Yeah, yeah they're pretty much both sisters if you pretty much gonna play this on your own. Uh, what do you call this? Luna, on the other hand, is one of the saddest, of course. And yeah, like I said, how did this happen? And pretty much hatred just consumes her and this is the reason why she became an enemy for us so what we're pretty much gonna show here is some kind of event here yeah the refraction so this part is pretty much a free play on how Luna works so the teaching mode we have here there's currently like four stages and how this one will work. The TP like this. The combat practice. So we're pretty, pretty much can try this on our own. We have here is Kamui and Vera on our sides. So for now we're pretty much gonna try on how Luna can do with the enemies. I just hope it doesn't crash. Otherwise, you get the idea. My tablet is from a little bit crap for some other reason. <laughs> Alright, we have here is Nuzzle. Yeah, yeah I know it's from crap.
not gonna lie. Yeah, from pretty much I'm using her is pretty much, you know, good enough. Yeah, we're pretty much getting on the interesting part of this new update. Uh, what else do we have here? And I'm pretty much on the eighth place. Yeah. What else? Uh, yeah, I don't have any ice construct. But nevertheless, I'm pretty much gonna show and continue on where pretty much left off. Where was it? Where was it? There's a lot of chapters. I guess we're here again, I think? Or not? Oh yeah, this one, this one. Sorry about that. So for, like I said, I'm not gonna cheat from this part on. And we're gonna use this guy. Yeah, that looks like uh, Tanjiro. <laughs> I mean, her, his BA is pretty much, you know, the same. They both have the same voice actor of this guy. Yep, like I said, this is Tanjiro. And at the same time, um, he's pretty much um, using Gauntlet, which is a good thing. And I don't have a leader, I almost forgot. Yeah, I know he can punch hard, right? I know you can. <laughs> so, continue on the star line. I mean, I'm pretty much gonna skip this. Yeah. <laughs> Where was it? Seeing them, seeing them use our comrades' bodies like that, we got to stop them. Don't worry, I got to stop him. This is not a Jojo reference, alright? Regrettably, he has just lost consciousness. There are survivors up ahead. What? That's the last two. <coughs> Can I fend up this thing? Like, seriously? <coughs> Never mind. Uh, what? What's this situation, Lucia? God damn it, grammar. My arm, it's not responding. Uh oh. Move! What? Let me take a look. Looks like it's completely broken. Oh. If that means Lucia can fight. I only did some temporary repairs earlier, so of course it's going to break if you use it like that. So I'm the one to talk. Looks like he's gone, smoking barrel? Okay. Command that survivor found. You finally came. Yeah, that's pretty much the, the you know, the side characters we have there. Pretty much normal. You've already been corrupted by the punching butters, but fortunately, it still hasn't exceeded the tolerance limit of your invert device. Yeah, the invert device or something like that is pretty much their own, you know. I almost forgot the term, damn it. Uh, please allow me to access your MIND. I can help lessen your burden from fighting with the virus. Yeah, the, M uh, the invert device I'm trying to say is pretty much, you know. I almost forgot. <laughs> I forgot! <laughs> damn it. Ah, thank you. I never thought I'd live to see such a advanced support type construct. But one more fact. Lib is obviously a supporter and plus can strengthen allies, like she's a buff construct after all. If only they were able to hold on a bit longer. Did you see a white haired construct or otherwise that is Alpa? 
Sorry, but we haven't encountered the construct we asked about. We're a supply team that got forced to retreat onto this bridge by the corrupted and made this communication station in the last resort. The amount of corrupted and threat levels are here exceeded our calculations. They broke through our guard rather quickly. We've never seen anything like that before. I can say for sure that the corrupted have formed an organization. The corrupted should only be able to follow the kill order of the punching virus. Well, pretty much ascendance, of course. Please elaborate on what you mean by ha having formed an organization. Did you notice those graffiti nearby? Okay, we found that this graffiti will draw in the mechanoid corrupted. What? And only they can understand its true meaning. So you're pretty much gonna vandalize on the wall and some mechanoid just pop out of, out of nowhere? <laughs> what? We tried to decipher the messages, but mechanoids with human consciousness that like us can understand it at all. Okay, be careful of those gravities. They are gathering the corrupted. Okay. Is this the new behavior of the corrupted due to the control of the Bunching virus? I'm afraid not. The corrupted's only goal is to destroy humans and everything that has human consciousness. But they don't need to communicate with each other or maybe this is a result of something else other than the Bunching virus. So yeah, pretty much don't mind me. I pretty much gonna elaborate all of the storyline right here. Thank you for your information and contribution. Please recall your consciousness. We'll let the preparing force know to retrieve your frames here. Oh, one more thing. Okay, what is it then? <laughs> Come on. That's pretty much it. Alright then. Next one. Everyone, we've reached the coordinates at, of the weapon supplies. Ah, this is... this is what? Such an eerie sight. Okay, the constructs here are all blown to pieces and paint is all over their body parts. Ah, that's kind of pain. Okay, who is this? Those detestable humans. Have they come to destroy my work again? What? Lee kneels then touches and checks the graffiti with his fingers. Composes mostly of construct vital fluids, but a mixture of industrial coloring, fluorescent agents, and mixed coolants. Ah, so that, um, you know, suspect we have there is pretty much an ice construct. Or an enemy? Corrupted? Yeah, who knows. Like, looks like they aren't using construct fluids just to paint this horrid looking graffiti, but also as a weapon. A horrid? That imbecile is saying my work is horrid. Pain. A weapon? Yes, a weapon. But blew up, this construct is likely a bomb made from pressurized paint. These bombs were cause an almost instantaneous drop in temperature after its explosion, slowing down the affected targets. Uh, what a monster. Agreed. You really cannot expect even an ounce of conscience to in the corrupted. There's no peace to be made between us. Um, leave. Is the area scan complete? Yes. The Levi gun the sub parts of supply squad mentioned it's, it's nearby, god damn it. Oh my god, I'm pretty much laying on my bed right now, so... The thing you're pretty much hearing is coming from a fan. Yeah. It's not raining, okay? It's not raining. Sometimes, sometimes it pretty much rains. You get the idea. Okay. 
an energy core, a plasma compressor, and a superconductor coil. These are the three Levi gun components I'll need. I I have marked the components positions. Sorry, sorry everyone. <laughs> That's all I can do now. And no need to apologize. I need to beat them up now. This must be the crates. Ah, not on the net. Thank you, please bear with me. Reactivating core, removing limiters, recalibrating lenses. Done! Th these two units are back in action. Construct leave, reporting to for duty, Commandant. Am I lagging? I think I am. This is kinda pain. This is throw pain. Oh my god. What else? I mean, there's a lot of them. What? And how did I get here again? Arigato gozaimasu, Rosetta-san. So, one fact about Rosetta. Uh, let's just say... She kinda does look like Gura in her younger years. Before she became a construct. Wanna know why? Let's all get from this part on. And I'll tell you the truth. She does look like Gura. Hold on. This one. Where was it? Where was it? <laughs> this one, this one, this one. I'm not gonna skip. I'm gonna skip. If you're pretty much gonna play this for yourself. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one. Look at her. She does look like Gura. <laughs> ah, pain. Now, Hololive is onto this thing again? I mean, this part on, yeah. So, there's nothing else for me to say and... I mean, there's a lot of parts I really need to show for you guys sooner. So, if you're, if you're pretty much gonna play this on your own, I guess good luck. But if you need some help, and I would pretty much, um, you know... Would be gladly to help you guys in return. So there's nothing for else for me to say guys and there's is there something for you to say um Rosetta? Can I headbutt you then? Um uh, no, not really. <laughs> uh. Nevertheless, uh this is Inkokoru and this is the end of the second episode. Like I said, there's a lot more Parts I really want to show for you guys. And I'm pretty much running out of low storage again. Yeah. This is Ink Core, and I'll see you guys on the third episode. Staying, peace out.